If I click on any tab here, then we can see the content inside the tab. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to the 17th video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are using this DOM content loaded event. And after that, we will grab HTML elements. So first we are grabbing tab buttons with the help of this query selector all. And same thing we are doing for the tab panel as well. Now, if you take a look on our HTML part, then here you can see we have the tab buttons here. And here we have this data tab, which is a custom data attribute. And that will help us to know user is clicking on which tab. And then here we have the content, content one, content two and content three. So by default, we are marking this button as active and this content part as active. So let's get back to our JavaScript file. And here we are running this for each loop over the tab buttons. And here we are adding this click event and we will grab here the tab ID as soon as user clicks on that tab. And then here we are using that for each loop again to remove the class active. And we will add the active class on the button on which user has clicked. And then we will run this for each loop on our tab panels. First, we will remove this active class and we will add the active class to only that panel, which is equal to the tab ID. So this was the whole logic. In case you need this code, then GitHub repository link is present inside the description of this video. Before we take a look on our UI, there is a request that please share this video with your friends. And don't forget to drop a like on this video. Here we have the UI.